So it's January 2022 and you're just fed up of buffering in your streams, choppy playback, stuttering videos, lag, what can you do? Well, I can tell you straight away the number one cause for buffering is most typically the target server or service that you're connecting to. So if you are maybe using a free application to access some free content, third party content, and if those servers are too busy, too many people trying to access free content, then you'll invariably get some buffering in your playback. So in this video today, let's go over the main reasons why you may get buffering on your device. Then I'll talk you through a couple of solutions which will help you reduce the problem. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so what are the main factors that could potentially cause buffering on your device? Well, I'll say the top five in no particular order. Firstly, we have the internet bandwidth or your internet speed that's available to you. And the reason why I say available to you, like you could have, for example, a, a 70 meg internet connection, but because you have five other people in your house, that means you don't have 70 meg exclusive to you. You're actually sharing that amongst the other five people. So you really need to find out how much you have dedicated for your own device or your own fire stick or wherever you're trying to do the streaming from. Next up, we have distance to the server. So let's say, for example, I'm trying to stream something from a server based in the UK. Now, because I'm based in the UK, I will typically see better performance and less chance of buffering compared to me trying to connect to a server based in China or Russia or Australia. Because of that geographic distance, typically I will get better performance using a server local to me. Next up, we have the bandwidth of the server you're trying to connect to. So whichever server you're connecting to for your streaming, you have to see what the actual upload speed is because when you're serving content, when you're giving out content, it's not your download speed that makes a difference. It's your upload speed. Now, a server may have only a 100 meg connection or a gigabit connection, but if you have so many users all on that server, all trying to stream content, then that server's going to have a hard time. And because of that, you're more likely to get buffering. So bandwidth of the server and how many people are trying to consume that bandwidth is points three and four. And the last one we have is your device. Now, me trying to stream something, a high definition movie or something else on a first or second generation Fire Stick compared to an Nvidia Shield or something that's more powerful, naturally and invariably you're going to get much better performance and less chance of buffering using a more powerful device compared to a less powerful device like a second generation fire stick so they're probably the five main reasons that can actually cause buffering on your device now let's talk about what we can do to actually fix them okay so to get the two applications needed to help reduce your buffering issues just head over to your settings go down into my fire tv click on developer options click on install unknown apps and where it says downloader, make sure that option is set to on. And this just means that we can download applications through downloader. Once you've confirmed that, let's now press the home key and open downloader. Inside downloader, we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in this short code 53402. Type that in, click on go, or you can just press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can reduce or fix our buffering in 2022. Let's open that up. Here we are. So here's some more information about buffering generally, what causes the buffering. Scroll down, and we're looking for two applications to install on our device. And both of these will work on any Fire Stick or any Android TV device. The first one is this one here. Let's click on that. Scroll down and you want to click on the green download button and this will download the application directly onto your device. Let's press back and let's also get the latest version of this application. Let's click on that and click on this green download button. Once you've done that, you can click on install. I can now delete the installation file. Click on delete again. Let's now press the home key and let me demonstrate how they can help reduce your buffering. So first up, we have the fast task killer. And this is something that I do recommend you run once a day just to quickly free up that memory. And the way we can demonstrate that is if you look at the top, we can see that my current 4K Fire Stick Max only has 205 megs of free memory. 
Now, if I just start this application, I know we can't see the icon for it, but it's the first one there. All I'm literally going to do is just press select on the application. That's going to start up. And in a few seconds, it's going to terminate all of those processes that we saw there. And look at my memory now, guys, we've gone from about 200 meg to over 750 meg. So that really is the fastest way you can quickly free up some memory on your device and really help your device out with performance. So that's the first thing. And let's now start DevSquid. It's a great application. I've done a few videos on this, but what we're interested in is a section that says manage apps. And now we can see all of those applications running in the background. Any application that has four stop next to it means it is consuming some of your memory, some of your CPU cycles, and therefore can slow your device down. So I recommend before you start your streaming session or your movie session, go through these applications and anything you're not using, click on four stop, click on four stop again, press back, go into the next one, four stop, four stop again. And this way you can ensure that only the applications or the streaming applications you're going to use are running. All of these other applications are permanently stopped. Let's back out of that. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag FTV, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. And the last thing you can do to alleviate all of your buffering issues is to use a service like RD. Um, I can't go too much into detail about it, but essentially what you're talking about is a service which costs one or two dollars a month a couple of dollars a month and this will allow you to access premium file lockers and these servers will contain high quality content the best bit rates the best you know audio quality but the main thing is because these are premium servers they have a lot more bandwidth they're not oversubscribed and i've never had any buffering issues when using rd so if you are somebody that likes to use third party applications, other applications, then using that with RD really is the best way to maximize your streaming experience. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Buffering is one of those things that can affect everybody, but hopefully with some tips or some of the things you've learned in this video can give you a better experience. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. I'm trying my best to get this second channel to 100,000 subscribers this year. So if you guys can help with that, would really appreciate it. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.